In this video, you're going to see how to install MariaDB on CentOS, RHEL, Alma Linux, Rocky Linux, Fedora, basically any RHEL related operating system. Of course, always install the latest LTS version. I've already deployed the server here on Valtra. If you want to follow along on your local computer, you, you can create a virtual machine on your local computer using VirtualBox, Vagrant, etc. If you are going to use Valtra, I have $300 free credit in the link below. So first of all, figure out the version you want to install. So you can go to endoflife.det. You can just search for it, End of Life MariaDB. You want to figure out which LTS version you should install. Currently, the LTS versions which are available are 11.4. And you can see this one will be supported up to 2029. And then the other one is 1011. 10.11 which is also a currently active LTS version of MariaDB which will be supported up to 2028. So just figure out if whatever you want to run can support 11.4 or 10.11. If it can support 11.4, go with 11.4. And this is the one I'm going to install. So to install it, I'm going to add the repository for RHEL CentOS etc. So to do that, go to mariadb.org and then click on download. So I'm just going to go on the homepage, click on download. Here under repository, you have already figured out the version you want to install is 11.4 and you want to install it on, I'm going to go with CentOS stream. So this is going to work for any of those rel based Linux. You have already decided you want to install 11.4 LTS version. To set up the repository is as easy as creating a file inside there and you can call it whatever. In this case, you're just being advised. You're just being given a recommendation. You can name the file mariadb.repo and it should be created inside of this directory. First of all, of course, I need to log into my server. I haven't logged in yet. It's just a brand new server. So I will come back to Valtra and this is this is running CentOS stream. So I'm going to copy my IP and log in. Or oh, first of all, let me log out of this Ubuntu. SSH root at, and I'm logging in with an SSH key. If you don't know how to set this up for your Valtra server, I will put the link for that video in the description. There's a video I show you how to set this up. Of course, accept the fingerprint. So just type yes. And just like that, we are now logged into our Valtra server. Control L to clear the screen. I need to update. So I'm just going to update the server. So if you're not the root user, you're going to have to add sudo. But I am the root user, so I can just do it without sudo. Y, enter. We're going to need to create this file. So let me just create a txt file. There's no point in waiting while I can prepare this. So I need to create a file inside of this folder, copy. So I'll just paste the folder there and I will call the file just as the suggestion is being made here. If you're not the root user, of course, you're going to need to use sudo. So you can add sudo vi. Vi, if you want to use vim or sudo nano. If you don't want to use vim, I want to use vim. Control A. I will copy this and bring it back. Okay, uh, the update is complete. So let's just create the file. Control shift v to paste. You need to put this inside of that file. I will copy, come back, Control shift v to paste. I will press escape on Vim and then I will do shift zz. Shift zz to save that file. 
we're going to do sudo dnf install mariadb server and mariadb client of course y and then enter let me just do control c to show you how you can get rid of this y uh, this request so i'm just going to press control c to get out of that and let's bring up the command again sudo dnf install mariadb you can just add dash y and this is going to install it without asking you for any prompt all right mariadb is installed and you can see the version that was installed is 11.43 so of course the next thing is to secure mariadb and you can just do mariadb secure installation and that's going to secure your mariadb server so this is quite easy to remember mariadb secure installation just run that and this is going to ask you for a couple of prompts you can read them they're very self-explanatory so enter the current password for root it doesn't have a password it's a new installation of mariadb so i'm just going to press enter let's just get out of this for a moment Control c Control z i mean Control z will just put that in the background and i will clear the screen Control l so you can see when i do systemctl status mariadb uh, you can see it is disabled it is not running so this is a problem so let's just fix this we're going to do systemctl enable what enable will do so if you're not the root user make sure you use sudo sudo systemctl going back to enable systemctl enable is going to enable this so when the system restarts it's going to start with mariadb and we want to start it now so to start it now you don't have to do system ctl enable mariadb and system ctl start mariadb we can just do system ctl enable dash dash now mariadb and there we go now we can go back to our process remember to put the process in the background we did control z to bring it to the foreground we can just do fg enter So we can switch the unique socket i'm just going to do enter for all the upcoming ones change the root password sure yes i can change it but just know that it has already been set by the system but if you want to change it to something that you know make sure you generate a really strong password and use that as your root password for the mysql so for this i'm just going to press enter and give it a password And then the next thing remove anonymous users definitely disallow root login remotely yes you don't want the root user to be able to log into your server remotely and i will do a video showing you how you can connect remotely to your mysql it is usually not allowed by default but you can make it happen so remove test database and access to it yes reload privilege tables now yes all right that pretty much has secured your mariadb server and if you're going to use this in a production environment of course make sure you install a firewall on your server you lock it down so that if you're going to use this server remotely you figure out how to allow your ip you only allow the ip of the web server to be able to access your db server and if you're going to do something like this actually doing it on valtra is good because valtra has vpc networks so that means you can set up a network you can put your you can put your database network in a private network and then you lock it down it's only accessible via the private network that is possible to do on valtra because of the vpc networking thing we can just check if our mysql is actually running so i can just do my sql enter and you can see our mysql server is running and that is the current version you can also show current databases that should pretty much end this tutorial in this video you've seen how you can install mariadb 
and as i said this will work for you on centos fedora red hat the steps will just be the same fedora all my linux rocky linux centos plus any other red hat based linux distros that's it for this video if you're going to set up a server you can promote me by using my Valtra affiliate link in the description below. And you're also going to get $300 free credit that you can use to test out the platform. That's it for this video. Let me just delete this because I don't need it. Server destroy. Destroy server. See you next time.